Hey you guys, this is Emily and I am in a different location. Um, I recently moved to San Antonio, Texas and my stuff isn't here so I'm in a hotel and I'm just lounging around and it was like I'm going to have no time to do a video in the next week maybe. So I thought I would do one here while the lighting is still good and it is the 4th of July so happy 4th of July if you're going to watch this. Probably not today, but um, I just want to do my June favorites since it's already pretty early in the month of July. So let's get right into this video. I'm going to start with non-beauty favorites this time because I've had a lot of non-beauty favorites, but they're currently on the moving truck, so I don't have them with me right now. My favorite glasses, I got these a couple weeks ago and it counts because it's in June, but these are just my airy sunglasses and I am so surprised I like these so much. Um, they're just awesome and they're like $15 and I think they look good and I don't know. I just like them and you can wear them with everything even though I wear a lot of black and it's brown. But I really like the detailing. It's If you can see that, if it'll focus. Uh, there's a lot of detailing on the side. It kind of reminds me of just like a weird tan cheetah. Actually, it reminds me of, I'm trying to think, Tigger. It makes me think of Tigger but like in a darker orangey brown type color. I've never mentioned this in a um, favorites video. I've only done about like three or four favorite videos. Um, if you guys want to see more every month, do a favorites. Um, like and comment down below because I like doing these because I just like to show you guys what my favorite things are. But um, I've been loving my beauty blender. I got this in December from my mom and it's a pack of two and I really like it's black. Um, I would like to get a pink one. I don't know why, but I like the black one. And I've been using it a lot lately because I ran out of my Revlon Mousse Foundation, which I usually use. So I've been using, um, it's like Rimmel, some long-lasting foundation. And it just goes on a lot better with a beauty blender. And I usually wet it about 5 or 10 minutes before I... I'm just like moving my chair. 5 or 10 more minutes before I put my actual face makeup on and it just goes on a lot smoother and I usually use just the tip and do that and then I do just that just to blend everything in. Sometimes I'll use my hands but this has come really in handy since I've been traveling and I just like it and it's so cute. So as you guys can see in this video my eyebrows are pretty defined and I've been really into the whole eyebrow thing. Um, I think I've said this before but Kara, I forget how you say her last name, Victoria's Secret Angel. I love how she does like the full, like, blonde, bold eyebrow thing. So I've been really following that. And my favorite eyebrow powder I've been using, which I'm almost out of, I've actually hit pan on it. Um, because I like using the darker shade of this. It's just the NYX Eyebrow Cake Powder. And let's see, I'm gonna focus a little bit. And it's in oop, blonde. You guys can see that it's just in blonde and um i really like it um it works pretty good i mean i would love to invest in the anastasia brow wiz but i like using the darkest one over here i just think it's a really nice dark color i really don't use a light one because i feel like it makes my eyebrows start to look pretty orange and i really don't like that and i like the really dark um eyebrow look here i'll go up close to you my eyebrows but as you can see my eyebrows are pretty dark and actually I don't have much makeup on today um for the past two days I've been trying I do concealer um I don't use foundation and I just use my little powder that's awesome the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and I've been doing mascara and that's all I haven't been doing eyeshadow or eyeliner or yeah eyeliner and I really like it oh I also use bronzer which I will mention my favorite bronzer in this video but I just really like it it's pretty just simple and yeah I might try it out for a couple weeks and see if I can live with that but who knows since I'm talking about face products my favorite concealer that I've been using um this is actually the only product I've used on my face for the past two days is this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind D whatever and it's for dark circles it's the dark spot eraser treatment corrector with vitamin C and goji berry and this stuff I gotta tell you is pretty dang good um here focus please just focus um it is just awesome it has like this little puff ball and I think it's really awesome and it feels pretty soft when you put it on your face. It's really refreshing when you use it under your eyes actually in the morning because it, it's just like that little puff and it's usually pretty cool when I put it on and it's just easy. I just like 
blend it in and I'm done for the day. These things again, I my favorite brush has been this Real Techniques. I love Real Technique brushes so much. I have the blush brush, which is my favorite, and I also just recently got the retractable bronzer brush and I've been trying that out and I really like it. It makes it a lot easier to put on my bronzer on my face. So this has been my favorite brush and it is just Real Techniques powder brush and I love it. It's so soft. I really need to clean my brushes, which I can't do at the moment. I'm sorry if they're really dirty and gross looking, but um, I got that and also my grandma recently got me... Um, like I said, the retractable, and I also got the dupe for the Beauty Blender by Real Techniques, which is exciting. Um, if you want first impressions of that, just like down below. And I also got like an eye starter kit, which I am so excited about using because um, I love my eye brushes, and I don't have that many, so I end up using the same brush over and over, and I do a different look every day. So, yeah, I need new brushes. Favorite bronzer at the moment, I always go back to this in the summer. I feel like like last summer I was on a huge bandwagon of this and it lasts so freaking long because I've had this bronzer for a year and I haven't even hit pan on it because you really don't need that much and I think this bronzer goes good with any skin tone and it's in oh it's the NYC smooth skin you probably have heard of this a million bajillion times and I love it so much and it is in sunny 720a and I love it so much and I mean, it's good if you don't want to spend money on high-end bronzers. This stuff is the thing right now. But phys the Physician's Formula is supposed to have a really good bronzer, too. Same with Jane Cosmetics that you can get Ulta. So if you guys have tried those, let me know if you like them because I'm always on the go for a new bronzer. So that just fell. <laughs> Moving on to eye products, I got two. So when I usually do my full-on face makeup, which used to be like every day, um, I always, I've been using this since September and I've only gone through two of these things and they're like $22, $23 for each one and it's just the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner and this is the best stuff ever. Um, if I ever have to go to Sephora, this, and I have like $22 in my pocket, I will get this thing even if I have a full one left because it's so awesome and it's just so easy to use and literally it freaking stays all day I don't care it stays all day like when I was at school and we had to do freaking swimming which I hated so much um I would go in the water with this eyeliner and I would get out and everyone would be like oh your eyeliner is so perfect did you just secretly put it on when you're underwater and I'm like no it's still a stay all day and they had no clue what I was talking about and I'm just like go get it my favorite mascara for the past like two months and I have like I said I haven't done a favorites video in forever so this is my favorite one if you're all wondering um it is just the per minerals big look with argan oil I got a travel size one and it was called big blink and this is just a different name but it's basically the same mascara and there's nothing really weird about the like different about the brush but it's just like I love it so much and I feel I feel fancy using it because it says it's with argan oil I don't know but I have it on my eyes today and I didn't curl my lashes or anything so I think for the most part this is a good mascara and it was about $19 and I like it you can get it at Kohl's too which is pretty cool but that is just the end of my video and I'm really into this chair right now um, if you guys like this video, uh, don't forget to like, subscribe if you haven't because I'm actually planning on doing, if I get up to 200, 255 subscribers, I will do the end of summer um, giveaway and it will feature all my favorite summer, um, end of summer to fall um, drugstore makeup that I really like, um, like my NYC Sunny bronzer and maybe just a few other things. So if you like this video, just subscribe and like. Okay, bye.